In today's video, I want to go over some very exciting information about the PlayStation 5. If this report is to be believed, it may reach a staggering amount of units shipped, and the life cycle of the console might be very interesting. We'll talk all about that. And also, literally out of nowhere, Cuphead is now available on the PlayStation 4. We'll talk that in just a little bit. But here's a very interesting report from Digitom's PlayStation 5 shipments may reach at least 120 million units in the next five years. So it actually points to a couple of interesting things, noting the life cycle for household uh, game consoles may be shortened to five years from six to seven years, and PlayStation 5 shipments may challenge 120 to 170 million units when its five-year cycle expires. That is a disgusting number compared to the 100 110 million units registered to date for PlayStation 4 launch in November 2013. I say disgusting in a positive term, kind of one of my vernacular traits, but the source said, adding that Sony has recently boosted its PS5 shipment for 2020 to near 10 million units. Okay, I love everything about this. First of all, the idea of a five-year cycle, I get it. Some people are going to be upset that that means the generation is going to end faster. Dude, I think that's a good idea. I think seven years is a little bit long. If you go back, we never had seven-year generations until the PlayStation 3. PS2 was like, I think it was like three or four years after, they were cycling through consoles pretty quickly. PS2 to PS3, I believe, was six years, but you know what? The PS3 was rushed, so you can make the argument that that needed more time in the oven to cook, but Microsoft rushed out the 360, and Sony were kind of pressured to put out the PS3. Long story with that. It also notes AMD design processors for the device fabricated by TSMC on its 7 nanometer node and packaged by ASCE Technology, and... A lot more stuff. Taiwan's chip maker Ziltec Technology and China's AAC Technologies now share Sony's order for handle controller chips for PS5 and another two Taiwanese IC designers, Nuvoton Technology and Genesis Logic, are supplying MCUs and USB hub controllers respectively for the device and Graytech Electronics as their back end partner. Meanwhile, Fison Electronics reportedly has also cut into PlayStation 5 supply with its SSD controller chips packaged by Taiwan's OSE. Okay, so the main thing is that 120 to 170 million units. Look, 120 in five years is nuts. If we're even talking about more than that, if we're talking about approaching 140, 150, God forbid 170, that is nuts. The PlayStation 2 sold an insane amount of units. I forget right off the top of my head. I'm actually going to look that up for you guys right now. Um, the PS2 is huge because of the DVD player too. It sold 158 million units, but bear in mind, the PS2 was on the market for so long and a big selling point was the DVD player. So the PlayStation 5 potentially beating that would be absolutely nuts. And you know, for a long time, people were like, well, everybody's moving to mobile gaming. Mobile gaming's the future, guys. People literally said that before the release of the PlayStation 4. Mobile gaming is going to take the world by storm. And mobile gaming is pretty huge, but come on. There's a market for consoles and high-end quality AAA experiences. The PlayStation 5 is going to show you exactly that. Cuphead is now available for the PlayStation 4. Out of nowhere, it is $19.99, and the DLC will be coming in the near future. Cuphead is a classic run-and-gun action game, heavily focused on boss battles inspired by cartoons of the 1930s. The visuals and audio are painstakingly created with the same techniques of the era, traditional hand-drawn cell animation, watercolor backgrounds, and original jazz recordings. Play as Cuphead or Mugman as you traverse strange worlds, acquire new weapons, learn powerful super moves, and discover hidden secrets while you try to pay your debt back to the devil it's a very very challenging game super well received on con on xbox one and pc and now you're going to be able to check it out on the playstation 4 maybe wait for a discount at this point but the game is definitely a good one to have that's going to conclude this video. Again, the PlayStation 5 shipments reaching that level would be crazy. Five-year lifespan, I think, is great. And Cuphead now available for the PlayStation 4. Do check it out when you get some free time. That's going to wrap up this one. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Hey, guys. We hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button. And if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way, you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads. And we usually try try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.